anybody that listens to Jordan Peterson, stop. So why would I advise against cohabitation before marriage? There's plenty of evidence that it's a bad idea. Um, full of crap. Jordan Peterson's own daughter His. just got divorced herself. Very, very difficult to get divorced considering what my dad talks about. It made me <laughs> stay in a relationship longer than I should have. Exactly. Because you're not going to know till you're till you've been married. Look, if your wife he... married a, 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 a therapist or a psychologist and then all of a sudden he got hooked on pills. How would you know? <laughs> I want him to throw himself into Brownsville in East New York with that two-tone suit. Do you want him to get beat up by the Bloods and the Crips? Is that what you're <laughs> well, suggesting? Well, yeah. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. If you make a vow by whatever is holy to you, or at least in front of the state uh, itself. Wait, hold on. And then if this is not the dumbest. If this ain't the dumbest suit I ever seen. Mm. And my, it's like he went what? into the it's like I want a burgundy suit or a mm. blue one. You know what? Just split them in half, you mm. moron, you idiot. He went into the stylist and goes, "Have you ever seen the the Dick Tracy comic? Have you ever <laughs> seen one of? Say no more, fam. I got you. Don't worry. I got you." You ever see one of those infomercials where that guy is selling all those books and he's got all the question marks on him? Matthew Lesko? <laughs> Say no more, fam. I got you. Have you ever seen a pimp who's very indecisive about what he wants to do? <laughs> Say no more, fam. I got you. <laughs> As you define it, that you're going to make a commitment to someone. And if you think that's nothing then you're probably the sort of person that the person you asked to marry you should run away from. Hold on. I'm going to skip forward. Wait, he's just... re wait, wait, rewind that. What is he saying? If you do what? This is where it gets you get lost in what the fuck he's talking about. Hold on. I'll rewind it a couple Pathetic of... bit of reasoning. OK, so basically what he was talking about was when when people go, I don't need a piece of paper to be committed to my partner. Right. When you go, we don't need to get married. Why do we need to get married? And have it, you know, I can be, uh, I, I don't have to cheat on my wife. I'm committed to who I'm with without having to get married. And he thinks it's pathetic and provides no logic to explain because it's not a logical argument. Now you're arguing subjectivity with more subjectivity. This First is just all, your, your opinion. This is your dumb opinion. Yeah. When, when people get married now and they get a piece of paper and then they get another piece of paper to make sure that the first piece of paper they sign doesn't fuck them over, which is a prenup. Like, he's a freaking moron. Mm. Mm. Come to Certainly don't say, well, that's just a piece of paper. You know, what do I need a piece of paper to validate my love? It's you like expressed your love. You're just going to be there 100% of the time. You don't need anyone else to help you. You don't need a vow. You don't need any tradition. So your love is so pure and holy that that other person, they can just rely on you from that second onward. No hesitation. It's like, yeah, right. Your partner. Okay, well, I want to, I want, he's talking about in front of the, the, the state. I, here's what I want the state. I want the state to audit his taxes for all this money that he's making oh, on these on these on these uh speaking these lectures. Oh, I want I want them to audit the state just so that he understands the gravity of what he's doing when he doesn't pay his right taxes. First of all, you're a moron. The first thing that we produce with that we we talk about the first principle of Man School 202 is authenticity, telling the truth, not lying. So on a level, if I say that the, my, if I profess my, I've said this a thousand times, the reason why you don't lie is so that when you tell somebody you love them or when you are committed to them, they believe you because you are, you are, you are, you're, you're, the constitution of who you are is a person that keeps his word and honors his word above all else. Mm -hmm. So whether the paper is there or not, look, people, people, I mean, look, people get prenups and they work around the prenups. People make all kinds of promises until they don't make their promises. Women have integrity amnesia. Whatever they agree, agree to on the front end has nothing to do on, on the back end as as soon as the the emotions change. And if yeah. you don't believe that, you all you got to look at is. Over and over again, uh, you we're gonna be together. So that's why when somebody be saying, "Oh, I'm a, I love you, I'm gonna love you forever." Yeah, 
We'll see. We'll see. Ask me again next week. And, and I'm not saying that that's not a problem because the reality of humanity is things change. Emotions change. Things change. People change. The, uh, the, the way we live our lives, finances change. Just politics change. And, and we're still trying to. And, and I think a lot of times when people are not telling the truth, when they're not being honest, when they're not being empathetic, those changes matter in a way that they've never mattered before. Also, you know, when you do the vows and everything, everything is about till death do us part, you know, for in sickness and in health forever and ever. And, you know, and the thing is that it's just, it's a fantasy. Yeah. It's a fairy tale and a fantasy. And the, the only people who, who do that are for the most part, religious people. And unfortunately women tend to fall into that trap. Like once I meet the right person, this is it forever. There's no such thing as uh, what do we say? Love. Um, Un, uh, what is the word? I'm unconditional. Looking? Unconditional. Thank you. Unconditional love does not exist. Everything has conditions. There is no such thing as a contract that can't be broken. There's no such thing as anything being permanent. When somebody treats you bad, you shouldn't stay with them. Are you going to stay with if somebody st suddenly becomes an alcoholic and they start to beat you? How and you and and if they're them? abusive? I would never tell some a woman that she got to stay with her guy because and he's abusive. Work it out. Or the fact is, the reality is that if you if somebody's telling the truth in the first place, then you you will know that they were alcohols. <laughs> they, you will know that because there's an honesty up front. But what what this clown is saying is that somehow what's interesting is. Here's where the contradiction is. He is an advocate about not using LGBT pronouns. I'm not going to let the government, the, the government tell me my pronouns. I will not. I will not. I, I will. But he is all of a sudden. See, he decides when he wants to be when he wants to be, uh, uh, I guess, be a great but citizen. And he followed the governmental guidelines and until he doesn't. It's just like until it, it, it affects your personal beliefs. Yeah. 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 Uh, let's, <clears throat> let's let's listen to more of this uh, insanity as uh, we watch a man in a multicolored suit have a breakdown. <laughs> um, let's see. He let's does hear. a lot of crying, too. He cries a lot. Quite a long time ago that we didn't want to have the same stupid fight every day. Just let's see. Let's well, go to this because. Desperate. And maybe that doesn't even work. So those are the reasons you, those are the reasons that, no, there's, there's one more, there's one more. <laughs> this is the next thing. It's, it's a necessary act of faith. And, you know, in our culture, because we're not very wise, we think that faith means, especially when it's parodied as religious faith, we think faith means the willingness to suspend disbelief while swallowing a proposition that any fool would reject. That's often how the rationalist atheists view religious claims. Faith means the suspension of your rationality and the acceptance of an, an absurd claim. Absolutely. That isn't what faith means. That's literally no, what faith it is. is. It that's, is that's absolutely. Ex that's exactly what faith is. Is That's the whole point of faith. And if you believe in that, that's great. I have faith in it, but there's no nothing to back it up. All it is is my belief in it. That's it. Let me, let me get that definition. The definition of faith? Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. I mean, I have faith. I'm sure he had faith that that two-tone suit was a great idea, but it didn't work. He, it didn't, it didn't, work, didn't work, Jordan. Work out, you idiot. Hold on. Yeah, let me pull up while you look that up. Let me put uh, oh, you got it. Uh, the one is a couple of different uh, definitions. So it says complete and and uh, complete trust and confidence in something or something that is complete trust and confidence in something without evidence. So yeah. it is absolutely that. That is absolutely that. If you if you and I'm not talking about you know you can believe whatever you want in terms of your your deities your god goddesses whatever the fact but it is a belief in in without without proof without and and so here's the thing faith faith in marriage and love and and god picking your right partner and sustaining you together that's wonderful if you believe that the problem is when faith has to mix with reality and contracts yeah, exactly. and finances because guess what the government doesn't uh, when you go into a court a divorce court we ain't Man. talking about faith anymore we're talking about oh. finances now and right. what you're required to uh, pay 
and right and lobbyists and things that where laws have or haven't always been. What's inter- what's really also interesting about him is how he has these belief systems that are that are above reproach when it's comfortable for him, and then all of a sudden when it's, it's something faith, else, right? it just it just he 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 vacillates between being a freaking moron to being a liar. That well, that's, I don't know. Just, oh, between the two, no, it's almost like yeah. he's wearing a, a multicolored emotional suit. You know what? Both it's all, sides. I mean, but who? But Harry, who would do that? Who would get a suit and split it down the middle, red and blue? You moron! You Canadian prick! Well, Go ahead, let's not blame let's all Canadians. Whatever. I don't even think Canadians like Jordan. Uh, no, they anyway. don't. They, you know, he got disbarred. Uh, I get, he was not. He's a psychiatrist. So uh, what is the equivalent of what is the equivalent of being disbarred? Well, he, His well, medical license be, was taken away. Yeah, he can't practice, uh, which is why he's on tour talking to these religious idiots. Yeah, and they love him even more than the fact that they, that yeah. he, he's a moron. Me, really, faith is what makes movement into the unknown possible. Right, I'm going fast. Don't know it, and so you step forward into the unknown future as a consequence of your faith in some principles. And if you love someone, if you fall in love with someone and you decide to marry them, you don't have the evidence at hand that that's the right person for you. What you have instead is the joint decision that come hell or high water, you're going to struggle forward together. And then you don't even know if that's the right decision. Because you're not going to know till you're, till you've been married. Like, you know, till it's way too late and you wasted <laughs> all your good years on somebody who is awful. Here's, For example, here's if, if your what's wife he... married a, a, a therapist or a psychologist and then all of a sudden he got hooked on pills. How would you know? <laughs> it's because he's popping pills. That's how you know. Every time you turn around, he's just popping pills. It's 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 so this is so absurd. You do not just randomly marry somebody with no evidence. You have with what with, there is a probability and a and a and a judgment of the evidence and the experience and the propensity for this relationship to work based on past experience. You are just not marrying somebody rolling the dice. And this is exactly why you should live together first, because you get, you could, you, I mean, you, you could move in with somebody and go, Jesus, I'm glad I didn't marry this person in a week. It could go sure. left in a week. If you love what we're doing here, go to patreon.com. It's the best way to support us. And check out all the bonus content. That's right. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do weekly bonus episodes. We do listener mail, dating tips. And also, if you love the show, you can go back to the archive starting from episode one. All the episodes will be there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. I had a dude. I have a dude was my roommate. He used to cook and have dishes. And he would not wash the dishes. So we had to chip the mustard. Off the, we had to take oh, a Jesus. screwdriver and a small hammer and chip the mustard off the plates before we wash them. So it's like, I mean, you you get into a situation where there, there's a perception of 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 what you think is common sense ain't common because it ain't everybody. And what's a level of normalcy that has absolutely nothing to do with the reality. So you do have to throw yourself into the abyss to be married. You don't. Just like you have to throw yourself into the abyss to be alive. You have to move forward in faith. And then you might say, you don't have to do all that to be alive, by the way. You don't yeah. have to, you don't have to, uh, you know, you don't have to go swim with sharks after you've heard and seen a hundred <laughs> other people get murdered by sharks. Like, <laughs> that's so stupid. Here's, here's what I want him. I want him to throw himself into uh, Brownsville in East New York with that two-tone suit. Mm. I want him to... I want him to you, you want him to get beat up by the Bloods and the Crips? Is that what you're both, suggesting? Both. Get double stuff? I want, I want him to go to Dumont and Blake Avenue with that suit, right? I want him... You know what I want him to do? I want him to ride a, ride a city bike there so they can see this idiot. And then I want him to pull up on Blake and Dumont under the L... Blake and Duma under the L 
and I want him to preach guys, preach the guys uh, the yeah. same speech that he's talking Listen, about. Right you now. got you fellas here. You need to be fixing your beds. And then <laughs> and then just watch him get stomped out like a dual effort. <laughs> Come on, guys. You need to be better members of society. <laughs> bang, bang, bang. <laughs> and the blood oh, stomp oh, half of him in the crib. Size. <laughs> and they <laughs> start shaking hands for the first time. <laughs> they, they bring them together. Bring them together. Uh, all right. So uh, I'll, we can keep going with Jordan, but I, I want to show you something, because guess who? Dante, if you had to take a guess who got divorced, mm -hmm. um, just take mm -hmm. a guess. If you had to, somebody with the last name Peterson, Peterson. who's gotten divorced, his own daughter, <laughs> Jordan Peterson's own daughter. His, oh, his mm -hmm. daughter gives him the uh, she's working with him, though. You she know. is working with him, but yeah, she yeah. just got divorced herself. Mm -hmm. And so uh, let's, yeah, let's, let's see. Michaela, I want to play you a tape. This is from a, a, a podcast in which you talked about uh, getting divorced. It was very, very difficult to get divorced considering what my dad talks about. It made me <laughs> stay in a relationship longer than I should have. I don't agree with the more conservative story of divorce that people are being told. I think being in a relationship that's not good for you. I think you should get out of that relationship. Wow. Oh, Thank God. What, he, what yeah. does he have to say to this? But I just love the part. Just to recap, uh, it made me because of my dad, what he said, it made me stay in a relationship longer yeah. than I should have. Exactly. Interesting that. Uh, let me ask you, Jordan, when you heard her say that, did you feel any responsibility that she may have stayed? You in better. A very unhappy marriage for too long because she didn't want to upset you because of your views. No, I wouldn't say so. I, <laughs> I'm able to let my children, I believe she's oriented to find her way and finding your way is a complex process and I'm willing to stand back and watch her and to provide whatever help I can along the way, but also not to interfere too much. Okay, you're, uh, are you re you're remarried now, right? Hold yes. on, let me pause you're this, pause this real quick. Here's what's interesting. Um, she says in the clip, I did not stay in this relationship because of my father's beliefs. No, I did so stay when, in this relationship. Yeah, right, I he stayed, yeah. he stayed, right. He said I stayed in. She said I stayed into a bad in a bad marriage way too long because of what my father's belief were. Then when he's asked is, do you bear any responsibility for the fact that she stayed in a marriage that she wanted out of with? No. Not at all. No, I. Mean, I why would I? <laughs> I mean, at, at first I was very angry, you know, but then I went out and I, I got a suit. I said, can you have you ever seen the carpet on the floor of a Ramada? And the guy <laughs> said, say no more, fam. And now I had a suit made. But after that, I, I let it be. Uh, <laughs> your John Peters is getting better as the episode. Oh, my goes God. On. Go with the only problem is in order to the, the only tragedy is I'm going to have PTSD because to do that impression, I have to listen to Jordan fucking Peterson. <laughs> Another argument yeah, he makes is that living together is not a test for marriage because it's not the same thing because you can leave at any time that you want, which is <laughs> like, OK, but that doesn't mean that it doesn't it's not a test of what the it, relationship it is going to be like. It's that you service. don't get you get to know somebody that you get to know somebody before you enter into a legal document that you want to do it for for what benefit. And then somehow the agency of governmental practice or something. Now you're subject to this. Now you're in this. Now you got to get lawyers and stuff. And if you're a guy. Right. And, you, and she's a stay at home mind. You know, you got to pay for both lawyers. You got to pay for her lawyer yeah, and you got to pay for yours. So it's just ridiculous. And how about this? There's also a situation where the woman will get with a, a guy is all gravy because they don't live together. And then all of a sudden he's accustomed to living by himself and she doesn't want to live with him. She doesn't like him. I mean, there's a there's a, it's a there's this thing about guys will be like, yo, I'm talking to this girl and and I, um, you know, but I'm, I just want to play the field. You don't even like guys get over yourself. Every girl don't want you in a, want you for a relationship. Yeah, you, absolutely. You, you still have to prove your worth. Both parts have both people involved have to prove their worth. It's not just women who have to prove. 
it, it's both parts. What do you contribute? What does she contribute? What, what do you bring to each other's lives? Or what do you not take away from each other's lives? My, my dad was grossly homophobic. And anytime he was around a gay dude, he would get nervous. I was like, dude, you're 80. Nobody wants your old long balls. Nobody, <laughs> nobody. You're not a hottie. Relax. So it's like you have to create value for yourself in a way so that you that you do have value. But you also everybody's not for you. This is a process where men and women both are trying to find their space, trying to find their space and find a way to to kind of live together and kind of make it work. And, and, and at the at the core of that is a level of honesty, a level of credibility, a level of empathy that you can't deny because when you do those things it's uh, even when you when, when you have empathy for somebody you're not trying to take them to the cleaners and then take all their money when you have honesty you're when it's not when the relationship is not working or something you don't like you have the ability to say i, I don't like that and and how can we remedy this or how can we remedy this or not or are we so far apart that we can't find a common ground that that this can work and it's okay if things change it's okay that i change my mind it's okay that she changes her mind i understand that emotion is in place and i understand that sometimes it's painful because we feel as though when somebody rejects us we feel in a way that we're worthless but sometimes sometimes you just want pizza sometimes you want chinese food it is just because you eat a pizza today is not a, a, a statement against Chinese food. It's just we change and we, we, we evolve and and hopefully we can evolve together. But sometimes there, there's no we have no control over that. So um, what we do have control is getting to know them. That's it. That's the yeah. control that you have. We and and you can always get a two tone suit. Because that is just always available. I have found that when life gets tough, I, you know, I go to a tailor and I just throw a bunch of colors into the air. I said, have you ever seen a, have you ever seen a, a, a gender reveal party where there's <laughs> twins and one's a boy and one's a girl? And the guy said, say no more, fam. <laughs> I want to, I want to, oh, what? I, I just really want to, I want to, I want to stone cold stun that dude when he's, when he's in that, the pregnant pause. Well, one second. You know, let me get da, 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 together. Da, 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 and two people from the audience throw me beers. <laughs> yeah. I mean, anyway. you just need to be stunned. Like, even Vince McMahon didn't wear. Let's do it like that. <laughs> well, we're wrapping up, guys. Uh, you know what? We're going to continue over at Patreon.com. Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do some bonus content. Uh, so go over Patreon.com slash Manschool202. We do all the bonus content over there. Uh, we, we've we releasing the archives of the show starting from episode one. So if you want to listen to all the old episodes, you could do it there at Patreon.com slash Manschool202. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.